ladies. Well, I, I want to talk about something. I, I, God, man. Ladies, leave these niggas alone, man. Leave these niggas alone, bro. These niggas, these niggas is lying, bro. These niggas is gay, bro. These niggas. Man, I was in the gym yesterday. And so, you know, you, when you're in the gym, you, you meet up with the boys. Y'all talk about what y'all gonna work out on. And the conversation goes on. And, you know, I start noticing that a couple of the guys that I thought was mad for this shit, they had start getting, like, real touchy-feely with one another. And I was like, well, hold on. Hold on. Like, what in the fuck is going on? And, like, they were, you know how sometimes, like, let, let me give you an example. You know how sometimes, like, people would, you say, oh, nice chest or nice shirt. You, you know, you might, might pat somebody on the back or you might just, you know, dab them up or whatever while you're going about your business. Now, these things were giving to, like, mammograms and shit. Like, they was holding each other and shit. Like, rubbing each other's abs and shit. Just out the open. And I was like, this shit is crazy. So I walked off. I, I wasn't for the shit. I wasn't going to get into that because... In my mind, immediately, that's that's only sexual. Like, there's no no foundation there. There's no nothing there. So I'm trying to understand why are these niggas even doing this shit? Like, this shit is crazy. And then you got your ring on, so you finna go home to a woman, bro. But then I started listening, and I started thinking back to some of the things that some of some men in the past have told me. And I guess they thought that I was cool and I was gonna ride with that shit, but I can't. Like, these niggas are setting y'all up, bro. They send y'all the fuck up. They wanna take your shit. They wanna take your life. They they feel like y'all owe it to them. You know what I'm saying? Like they they got niggas that's in the relationships with them that's down. They down to to fuck over you and take your motherfucking shit. They have plans to come take your credit, to come take your house, and take your inheritance. Marry your ass. Give you a fake ass baby, nigga. And sick man, this shit is crazy. <laughs> this shit is crazy. One nigga had housing applications in his phone. He was gonna set the bitch up on housing when he was done with her, bro. It's it's mental. And I I'm just wanna share this with you because I'm in my heart I don't really know how to talk to so that's why I kinda I'm kinda confused, like I'm kinda in a place because I'm really uncomfortable, but that th these were black men, man. Like these I thought these were Men, I'm 40, like, and I, these men were like 44 and 45. They were older than me. These were men I thought I was looking up to. Like, I was going to the gym to aspire. Like, he has he has a nice frame, which means he's not drinking. You know, he has a ring on his finger. He's going home to his family. I'm giving him the positive narrative because when I walk around, that's the positive narrative I want somebody to give me. Of course, there are going to be people that are going to say a few things, and I really don't care because everybody is not going to see my dreams when I close my eyes. So that's cool. But for them to just destroy that for me, it took me to a place. It took me to a place. I don't want I don't want to start looking down on my black man, especially in a sexual narrative where you you gay, my boy. Like you can be a lot of things, but that ain't gotta be it. Be a hoe, just be a regular hoe. I respect that. Be a liar, I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Be a cheater. I respect that. But all of that just back and forth, that I'm sorry, in my heart and in my mind, I know that shit's wrong. I know that shit wrong. And then you read in the Bible, it tell you that shit wrong. Man, that shit is it's baffling. My girls, my ladies, man, y'all don't deserve that, bro. Y'all don't deserve that. And from one king to the queens out there to everybody out there, I really want you to protect yourself. And these are the ways that I'm thinking of from a man that will honestly tell you, you know, as in that lifestyle but with integrity pay attention to his eyes his eyes will never tell you a lie his mouth his hands his feet will but his eyes he can't control that he's what what he sees what what attracts him will catch that he's a surface nigga he's not a he, he he's not gonna realize what he has done until maybe you have brought it to his attention that this is what's going on but since they're not going to be 100 with you and honest with you you're going to have to figure some shit out for yourselves now because these niggas are coming to your lives bro and these disease numbers they going to fuck up because these niggas don't care at the end of the night when the lights go off whoever is in the goddamn room is in the goddamn room and if you in the fucking room the questions are not being asked 
are you this or are you that are you protected or are you that it's none of that going on you are in the room i have seen the room because the niggas will put just air freshener on the goddamn bedside table because you know that this is some funky ass shit but you won't ask the questions and go home and protect your wife and protect your life but you want to tell that nigga, I'm going to meet you on Wednesday at 4. My girls, man, like, man, I know, I, I know I'm probably seem like I'm all over the place. And please forgive me because this, this is the craziest shit I've ever seen. I love the Lord. He heard my cry, bro. But this is deeper than that. These boys are here to destroy you. Why? I do not know. I don't know what happened. I don't know how it happened. But because it's happening, I'm telling you now, protect yourself. Ask all the questions. Get all the understandings. Make that nigga promise you, show you, prove to you he loves you and rides for you. If he does, he will have no problem putting the shit on the table. And that's where you guys will eat. From that table and that table alone. And that table does not have room for visitors. It only has room for you, your family, and the Lord God you serve. So put him first. Ask your questions. Give yourself some understanding. Hear me when I say what I'm saying. This conversation comes from my heart, not just my mind. It comes from a place because I love my beautiful women. Whether you black, white, Spanish, or Asian. I talk a lot of shit. But when it comes to shit like this, I don't play like this. So, there you go. Bye.